Hi, I'm Jake from Dive Extras, and in this video, we'll explain how to read and understand our scooter performance charts, as well as show you how to compare different scooters side by side. Now the first thing we'll look at is the measurement values along the sides and bottom of the graph. First off, the bottom row of digits represents the speed of the scooter, shown in feet per minute measurements. Along the left hand side of the chart is the runtime measurements, or how long the scooter will operate at a given speed. On the right hand side is distance, measured in miles, and the gray swooping bands represent each mile as it translates over time and speed. One of the most common uses of these charts is to plot out a dive ahead of time to get an estimate of the performance to be expected while diving. This is done by first choosing which speed you'll be planning to dive with the scooter, and finding that corresponding point along the bottom of the graph. The next step is to plot a horizontal line across the graph at your chosen speed point. The spot where the line meets the left side of the chart will show you your estimated runtime, and following the curve of the mile marks will reflect your runtime in distance. Note that these numbers are based on the Tahoe benchmark standard of testing, where a scooter is tested against the average drag profile of a recreational diver wearing a dry suit and single tank for a total drag coefficient of 1.0. Now your personal drag profile may vary from this benchmark, of course, but this provides a reasonable baseline for real-world performance with an expected variance of plus or minus 10%. Another use for our performance charts is in comparing multiple scooters' performances, whether that's used in purchasing a new scooter or simply deciding which of your many, many expensive scooters will best suit your upcoming dive. A common and simplified approach to comparing scooters is by dividing the chart into four quadrants, like this. Now each quadrant will correspond to either a high or low performance value. Starting at the top left quadrant, we see that this area of the chart represents scooters with generally slower speeds but longer runtimes. The top right quadrant contains scooters featuring both higher speeds and runtimes, while the bottom right represents scooters with higher speeds but shorter runtimes. Last but not least is the bottom left quadrant. That's where the scooters with the lowest speeds and runtimes go. Anyways, this quadrant method simplifies the comparison process to better narrow down which scooters will best fit your needs. For example, if you're looking for a scooter that can sustain a longer runtime and you're not too worried about speed, you'd look near the upper left quadrant. If you love nothing more than the thrill of outrunning your enemies, both real and imaginary, try looking near the right hand side of the chart where the faster scooters fall. The upper right hand side is where scooters with both high speeds and high runtimes are found, while the bottom right quadrant will give you high speeds but a shorter running time. That just leaves the bottom left quadrant, but we don't talk about that one. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> 